Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla, here to talk to you today about Litech rear sets. You should be looking into a set of Litech rear sets for your bike if you want a set of really nicely made foot controls. Litech's currently making rear sets for sport bikes, almost exclusively race rep stuff. Use our bike finder and we'll show you the Litech rear sets that are going to fit your motorcycle exactly. Installation on these isn't too awful difficult. It is going to vary depending on what kind of bike you have. However, most of you should be either in the difficult one beard category or the easy two beard in our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. If you've got a good attitude, a little bit of time, and a decent toolbox, you should be able to get these onto your motorcycle in your own garage with absolutely no help at all. Let's get right into things. Those of you who are familiar with Litech know that they are purveyors of fine jewelry for motorcycles. These things absolutely look fantastic. I'll come right out and shoot it to you straight. Nobody needs Litech stuff on their bike. But everybody wants Litech on their bike because it's very nicely made. As I had said, it's like jewelry for the side of your motorcycle. Their rear sets really are absolutely no exception. So of course, most people aren't going to be ripping off a set of factory controls and going right to these. I would say most guys interested in these probably have had a low side, probably have banged up your existing rear sets and you need something to replace them. You're looking maybe into upgrading. Um, the other you know, faction of folks I can imagine looking into these two are people who are just not comfortable on their existing motorcycle. So while I don't think a bunch of people are gonna run out to replace factory stuff, um, at once you bang it up, which is almost inevitable, this is the stuff you wanna look at. So I'd mentioned foot position being key. So one of the keys to Litech rear sets are these waffly looking plates here. We're talking about a set of standard Litech rear sets like you can see over here. These honeycomb looking plates back here actually have a variety of threaded holes on here. And what these are gonna allow you to do is really home in on the fit that feels best for you. So you've got a lot of different orientations and configurations you can set your controls up in to give you both the best feel as far as you know body positioning, but also giving you the best shot at the levers themselves, the shifter and the brake lever. So keep in mind, that's one of the benefits Litech's gonna offer you there that you're not going to get with an OEM or even some of the lesser aftermarket rear sets. You do have some adjustability cooked right into these babies. You're also going to get a little crisper shift feel too. No rubber at all on these foot pegs. You can see these are solid knurled aluminum and man these things are sharp. These will bite right into your riding boots. The other reason you're going to get nice shift, uh, nice shift feel is because these are roller bearings in here. Now your factory OEM and again some of the lower end rear sets you're going to see are probably just going to have plain old bronze or brass bushings in there that everything's going to ride on. And as those wear over time, you'll develop a little bit of slop and it really affects the shift feel. It just degrades a little bit. Everything still works fine, but you'll just notice a little bit of slop coming through in your shift. With the set of roller bearings, these are really overkill for this application, which is why you're able to maintain that crisp shift feel throughout the life of these. One of the other nifty things you're going to see too are these sort of very minimal heel guards here. Litech knows you're trying to cut down weight, so you're going to get these very light, very beautifully machined aluminum heel guards. And you can see too they're also skeletonized. Again, they're taking the weight loss thing very seriously. These really are a very nice set of foot controls. And these are the Litech standards that we're talking about. But I know there's some of you folks who are looking around on the website and you're saying, well, what about those R's? What am I getting when I bump up into that more expensive R rear set? We can kind of parse that out. There's some things you can see and there's some things that you can't see as well. So let's talk about some of the stuff we can see. You can see obviously there's some of this nifty red anodized hardware. They used red accents all over the place. You can see down here we've got carbon fiber heel guards as opposed to aluminum, also adorned with red accents. This thing is feather light. You can't actually feel this, but I can. This is just an absolutely tiny piece of carbon fiber there. It really does drop the weight on the motorcycle. So some of the stuff that you can't see necessarily in here, you're not gonna pick up on very quickly. T6061 aluminum, whereas these are 7075, uh, Litech is using 6061, I mean really one of the nicest aluminum alloys you can use in order to make a foot peg or a control setup like this one you can see here. One of the other things that you probably can't see, we discussed the use of roller bearings in the standard uh, rear sets, however we also have roller bearings in the R's, but these are going to be name brand bearings, you have SKF bearings in here, it's a super fine bearing to use, um, I often use SKFs when I'm replacing uh, motorcycles wheel bearings. They're great even in high speed applications. So really, Litech has gone just above and beyond making these things absolutely just over the top nice. It's part of the reason they have such an incredible reputation. And then the final thing I think is pretty nifty just as far as a finisher here, you'll notice uh, looking at this hardware here, I'm not sure if you can tell the shade difference, but this stuff looks a little bit dark. And the reason it looks dark is because this is titanium hardware. I mean, they really thought of every single detail. These are just a completely over the top,
stop, look at me type of a rear set. So this is going to be, again, for those of you on a super premium motorcycle or those of you who really are looking to shave every last ounce of weight off that track bike. Now installation on these is going to be a little bit different depending on what kind of bike it is you're working with. One of the things you may notice is you use our bike finder is you'll find that some of the Litec setups do allow for GP shift. So if that's important to you, uh, you do want to check out the product page listing and we're going to show you the ones that will allow for GP shift. Again, those of you who have set up a bike for GP shift before know that that can require just a little bit of minor fabrication because you are kind of deviating from stock just a little bit. However, the rest of you who are just doing a standard shift setup, you should experience a pretty easy installation. Litec includes everything you need in the box for your particular year, make, and model. And as I had mentioned earlier, if you've got a modicum of common sense, a factory service manual, some decent tools, and half an afternoon to really fine tune and dial everything in, I think most of you should be able to get these onto your motorcycles with absolutely no problem. I really like these rear sets. I don't think I'm necessarily a good enough rider to throw a set onto my bike, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Now, if you want to do a little bit more research on here, click that info button either on your desktop or your fancy internet cell phone and learn a little bit more about these through some of the rider reviews from folks who are already rocking Litec rear sets on their motorcycles. If you need a little more attention, something a little bit more personalized, or you need a question answered right this very second, get in touch with one of our gear geeks, cs at revzilla.com. You can always give us a jingle on the telling bone too, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.